Here's to you. Thank you. Here's to you and this deliciously cold beer. Mm. <laughs> there are definitely days that go by where you just need something like this mm -hmm. to get through it. I know. <laughs> Today might be one of those it days. It is one of those days. <laughs> yeah, it's been shitty so far, but it's looking, it's oh, looking up with yes. every second. <laughs> I think it's going to be a great fight. I don't know why everybody's not coming to this fight. Pay-per-view is pulling back on the promotion. We're not selling tickets. We have a deal or we don't have a deal. We need a gimmick. What good's a deal if nobody's making any money? What's up, boys and girls? I'm hanging at the No Good Bar with Emily Mortimer because you have a new movie out. I do. And it's called Red Belt. It is. Which would go very nicely with my outfit and this bar, I think. <laughs> yes, I can't believe I'm having an interview in a bar. I mean, that there's a bar in a TV studio. It's Shouldn't amazing. they always be like this? It's incredible. Yes. It's just like all Let's my dreams come to true. that, shall we? Yes. You actually had the opportunity now to work with David Mamet. I did. He was really <laughs> awesome, actually. He was very, very, very bright, um, not surprisingly. He? He's just the most sort of affable, chatty, funny guy, full of sort of theatrical anecdotes about fruity old English <laughs> actors. And, uh, and considering he's quite macho, and he was making a movie about a very macho subject. Oh. Jiu-jitsu, Jiu -jitsu, yes. <laughs> and mixed martial arts, not right, to be confused right. with anything else. <laughs> think, um, exactly, mixed martial arts. Tim Allen is like Tim Allen like we've never seen him before. I know, I know. It's <laughs> He's so like great. this crusty Hollywood... Creepy old. Creepy. <laughs> Why'd you come out alone? If you're looking for trouble? Tim Allen I never got to meet. And he wasn't there last night. He's been shirking his responsibilities. Why wasn't he at the premiere? What a dick. I know. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have him on this show. He's I won't. I'm going to put my foot down. I'm going to say, you know what? Emily Mortimer said no. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Come by anytime. <laughs> there is no situation you could not escape. But you actually got to be kind of macho in this film as well. I did do a little bit of um, ass kicking. Self defense. Yeah. Uh, ass kicking. Yes, I yes, did. Yes, it was did. exhausting. I really ruined myself for about three weeks after that experience. You also got to fire a gun. I got to fire a gun, yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, I did forget, I did get to fire a gun. That was really hairy too, actually, that was my first day of shooting and I suddenly had to do this rather elaborate stunt and it was just sort of one morning and I turned up and had to work out how to fire this fucking thing and not look like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, and not get, and also aim it at the window, it had to actually go through a window and all did, Were you actually firing projectiles that was coming out of the yeah, gun? Yeah, 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 there, there, the... there was stuff. <laughs> That's shit dangerous. Out of that. It was fuck? terrifying. <laughs> it was really, really hard. It did take me about 30 or 40 goes to get the gun, you know, to fall in the right way so that it all went off in the right way and didn't kill anyone. Yeah. Many, there were many dead. <laughs> the <passers laughs> Before we by. finally got the right shot. <laughs> I don't really do that much exercise. I'm kind of allergic to any form of organized physical Cheers activity. Cheers to that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is about the most exercise mm. that happens. You're going nowhere! So the boys all went to training. Did you go to any of the training just no. to kind of hang out with them? No, I didn't. I um, Weren't you just curious to see the abs and stuff? Not that curious. I've got, what is wrong? Do you know what? I do think I have some weird thing. Like, and I've, whenever I've done sex scenes in films with sort of famously sexy actors who are meant to have big willies. Do you say willies in American? Sure. You know what that means? They know what it means, yeah. I know, I'm always asked by my girlfriends, what, you know, what it looks like. What it looks like? <laughs> what? <laughs> And I never know the answer because I never look. You just you never take a peek down. No. So I shouldn't be asking you who's got the big cock and no, all that. I, I don't know the answer. I've never looked. But I do sort of wish I had looked so I could tell everybody. Okay, well, next time? And next time I promise to okay, look. Okay, thanks, yeah. We just look down one time. Just one time. I don't know, maybe there is something wrong with me. No. I don't get quite into, I'm not really into sort of Muscles, so per se, and big. I mean, like it doesn't. I mean, it's so what does that say about your four-year husband? It's <laughs> well, no, <laughs> no. Rewind. We all know that he's quite fine-looking, and he's incredibly handsome and very uh, and, and well endowed in every way. Well, what about you? And I'm pretty fucking good too. <laughs>
You better fucking go and see Red Belt because it's really fucking good. And David fucking Mamet made it, so you know it's gonna be fucking good. Right. <laughs> and Emily Mortimer's in it, so we already know it's good. Fucking good. Why yeah. didn't I get a fucking good? Oh, sorry. <laughs> And we, Emily, let's do this again. Everyone help me out here. And Emily Mortimer's in Red Belt. We know it's going to be fucking good. Woo! <laughs>